I'm going to be getting shiny out in just a few minutes, uh, but today we're going to be working with a lesson that I thought might be more easily explained if I showed the technique first on a train dog. And so, this, so for the first part of this, I'm going to be using Lucas, who is my nine-year-old golden retriever. Uh, Chiny has graduated the, uh, the puppy class, and we're now moving into the adult class, which I used to call Bear Basics. Now, in my Bear Basics class, the focus is on getting them weaned off of the treats and more dependent on your praise and the relationship that you're building with them than on treat rewards. It's also going to be using those collar cues that we learned in puppy class. The hardest part of the stay is not stay in that position, but stay in that position until I tell you that you can get up. And I need to make sure that I make that really, really, really clear to my dogs. And I do this by using a hand signal, a verbal command, and even a position. And in my classes, we did use heel as the position. Luke, come on, sit, come on, sit, good. So heel is with them sitting on your left side. Now the hand signal that I use is the signal to, to leave is to say stay right in front of his eyes, hands and right in front of his eyes as I say stay. And then I'm going to pivot in front, wait about 5-10 seconds, then I pivot all the way back so he's still in heel position. My hand goes on his head and then I say free dog. Now my dogs are trained so that unless I'm standing next to them, have my hand on their head, and say free dog, they are not going to get up. Stay. Free dog. Free dog. Free dog. Yay! That was the right answer, dude. Good job. Alright, let's get into the technique a little bit. The leash stays loose unless the dog gets up. Stay. If the dog starts to get up, I'm going to step in and apply that collar cue that they learned in puppy class until they sit again. As soon as they're sitting, the leash gets loose and I'm going to step back into here. Good. Good. I'm not going to repeat the command because I'm trying to build their memory retention, but you can go ahead and repeat the word good because in my classes, good means that's the right. You're on the right track. Keep going, and it's always done in a very calm voice. Good, good. Pivoting back, hand on his head. Free dog. Had a boy. Good. Now, if you find that you're having to manhandle your dog to get him back into the sit, pulling up really, really hard. Uh, try a couple other things first. You might try instead just using that other cue that they learned from puppy class and laying gently your hand on their back end. You're not pushing, you're just laying your hand back there. That still doesn't work. It may mean that you haven't done enough repetitions from the previous lessons. And I recommend that you go back to those lessons and repeat them at least, sorry about this, but at least 20 to 50 times. Because that, then and only then will this start making sense to your dog. If that still doesn't work and you feel like you want more help with, by using a training collar, I want to just tell you that my techniques do not work with a choke collar or with a head halter. If you were to pull up using my techniques with a choke or with one of those head halters, it would not give the right signal to the dog. So the only, the only equipment that works with these techniques are the buckle collar, which Luke is wearing, or a martingale, or a prong collar. Now, if you decide to go to a martingale or a prong collar, I'm going to strongly recommend that you seek uh, a professional trainer to help you because they need to be fitted correctly and you need to know how to use those collars correctly so as not um, to undermine your training at all.
Let me do it one more time with Luke, and then I'll get shiny. So leash is loose. Stay, pivoting in front. Hand is ready in case I need to pull up. Good. 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 I'm only going to stay at about 5 or 10 seconds to start with. Gradually you will increase the time or distractions or distance as your dog gets more and more competent. But you're only going to add in one of those difficulty levels at a time. Good. And pivot back. Good. Good. Free dog. And he's up. We have Shiny now, and Shiny has his buckle collar on, which is his training collar, as well as his collar that carries his tags. I don't like to use the same collar for both because those tags can pop up and hit him in the face and be distracting. If you're working inside, you can certainly take that collar off, which I'm going to do. But if you're working outside, you want to keep that tag collar on just in case he gets away from you, so you've got that extra protection. Okay, now let's work on the sit stay. Again, I've got the mat down so that he can't slide. Chinese sit, good, stay, good, good. Chinese has been doing this for a little while, so I'm going to start adding some distractions. Good. There's my gentle pull up. Good. Good. Even a slight movement is going to get the correction either back or up, whichever way you can get more leverage. Good. Loosening the leash because he's right. Good. I'm going to pivot back. Leash is still loose. Free dog. And he can go get it. Good. Come on, Shane. Let's try it again. Sit. Good. Again, if they don't sit on their own, you would apply that collar pressure upward. Stay. And stay out a little longer this time. I don't care if he looks at me. He happens to be looking at me. I'm going to break. There's the step in. I'm going to break my eye contact with him because I don't want that to encourage him to get up. Good, good, and I'm looking here, I'm not making eye contact. Good, good, good. And I applied that pressure because I could feel him starting to lean forward to get up, so I just reminded him I didn't want him to do that. Free dog, good boy. Stay. Now I'm going to get really hard now. Good. The yawning is a sign of stress, but it's a low level stress and it just is, it's like you scratching your head. Good. Now, that was a great correction because I applied the pressure, but I didn't try to physically put him back in the position. I just applied the pressure until he got back into the position himself. Loosening the leash. Good. Free. You got up too soon. Let's do that again. Free up. There you go. He had gotten up before I had touched his head, so we went back and repeated without repeating the command. And that's really important. If you notice, every time he gets up, I'm not saying sit or stay again. I'm just quietly putting him back in position and then telling him good for being in position. One of the distractions I use as they get more confident, stay. So I'm going to stroke him while he's sitting, because that's a skill that he's going to need when people are greeting him. Good. Good. Free dog. The down stay is almost identical to the sit stay techniques, but of course the only difference is the direction of the collar cue, which is going to be in a downward motion rather than an upward motion. 
Now, when you're placing your dog in the down position, you can also feel free to point. So I'm going to be pointing and pulling the leash lightly downward. Down, good. Now from here, I'm going to tell, you can put your foot on the leash if you're not sure. Tell him stay and pivot in front. So my foot's on the leash, but notice it's not tight on the leash. It's just there so that he cannot stand up all the way if he makes a mistake. If he does make a mistake, I'm going to move in and pull lightly downward with the leash. If I need to help, I can put my hand on his shoulder, which again goes back to puppy class. If you find that you have to get all the way back to put him in position, try not to do that too often because they do learn faster if you keep in this position, this orientation. Okay. Stay out here about five to 10 seconds. Pivot back, free dog, and he can get up. What I'm going to recommend that you don't do the sit stay for any longer than three minutes when you're starting to build up time and because it can be uncomfortable for them and the down stay for any more than five minutes. Once they get three minutes and five minutes, that's really most, in most situations, that's all you need. If you're looking for your dog to be in a place, in a spot for longer than that, what you want to do is build in a command that is different from the stay that allows them to get up and move around as long as they stay in that location. That's my mat command, which I'm going to be teaching later on um, over the course of Chinese lessons. Chinese sit. Good. Down. Good. Foot on the leash. Good. Stay. Hasn't been doing this one as long, so I'm going to stay right in close to him. Good. 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 Free dog. Sit. Good boy. Down. Excellent. Much better. Foot on the leash. Stay. Pivoting in front. Good. Good, 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 free dog, that was very good. Sit, good job, down, excellent, good, oh, wrong hand, stay. Pivot in front. Notice also when I give the commands, I'm giving them a second or two to respond before I apply the collar cue. Try this again. Right here. Sit. Now, sweetie. Sit. Down. Good. Stay. Good. Notice that I waited a few seconds before I applied the collar cue. Again, I want him to, to think about what it is that I'm saying and then apply it. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Free dog. Alright, now part of the reason he's getting so wound up, shiny, settle, settle, settle. Good boy. Part of the reason he's getting so wound up is 
because I pushed him too far. Um, I, I tried to keep him out there way too long. Now we're just going to do the settle command for a second, which again he learned in puppy class um, while I talked to you. But part of the reason he was getting so wound up, that was coming from the stress of it being too hard. So when he started rolling around, when he started jumping up, all of those were signals to me that I was going too fast. And until he gets more comfortable with this command and more confident with this command, I'm not going to start pushing him for me to go any farther. Let me do one or two more. Okay, start from the beginning. Sit. Good boy. That's a good sit. Good. Down. Good. Stay. Good. 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 Free dog. Excellent. Thank you for joining us today. Please be sure to check out my other training videos on our YouTube channel.